What's up, Fit Body Nation? So today, we're changing up the scenery just a little bit. I was shooting some short films in the garage, so I wanted to stay in here because I'm already set up to do the workout. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now today, it's going to be a shorter workout. We are going to be using the dumbbells that I talked about yesterday. So make sure you've got one or two dumbbells lying around that you can do this with. Now, you may not be up to the level of using dumbbells yet, and if that's the case, don't worry about it. You can do these exercises without. And also, after I get done recording this workout today, I'm going to start shooting the modification exercises and then start putting them in the workouts. No matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you can still do the workouts with us. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, so we're gonna start with our three minute warm up. Time is going, who knows if it'll actually beat that as today or not. But we're gonna start with side lunges and just to loosen up a little bit. So nothing too crazy here. Now, I know the walls are a little bare in here, but that's okay. If I decide to do several workouts in here, I'll make sure to put up something pretty on the wall. So that way it's not quite as boring. All right, good. Now, let's take it into high knees. Get it loosened up, that's it. Perfect. Good, now make sure you got some water around, something like that, so during our, well, actually, honestly, the only real rest we're gonna have, since this is just a short workout, is the one minute rest we did after our warm up here. So get some water, you can really drink it before we go into the workout, but we're only gonna have 10 seconds to transition from one exercise to the next which isn't enough time really to get water or anything else, all right? Okay, let's do some twist, upper body, nice rotation, good. And reach it over, stretch out the obliques, back over, other side, obliques, good. Keep moving, come on. That's it, excellent. And back to jacks. Now, this time I want you to drop it down, a little bit lower, these are low jacks, good. Keep moving, stay low, come on. You got this, doing perfect. Keep it moving. Good, good, good. And go ahead, get on your yoga mat. Drop it down to your knees. We're gonna go into push-ups. Get the arms loosened up a little bit since we are gonna be working with dumbbells today. But it's gonna be a mix between cardio and resistance training, okay? So it'll be a good hit workout, just a short one. Perfect. That's it, don't stop. Excellent. And go ahead, back up to your feet. We're gonna roll right back into the high knees. For these, I want you to cut it over to the left. Once you get over the left, I want you to push back to the right. Not a massive side shuffle movement, but a nice left to right movement. Kind of loosen up the ankles. Let them know that you're gonna be shifting around a little bit here. Good. Come on, we got this, keep it up. Perfect, don't stop. Keep working. 30 seconds left, and now, let's go ahead and take it into a small squat jump. So reach down, touch the ground, perfect. Good, get those feet off the ground. That's it, you got this, come on. Keep on moving with it. You got 18 seconds left, then we're gonna rest. Then we're gonna go the rest of the workout. Good, almost there. Excellent, eight seconds, and hold it down, hold it down, Four. Three, two, one. Nope, no beep. So I guess we don't have a beep today. Again, but that's all right. We do have one minute of rest. Get some water. Can we get mine? Okay. Catch your breath. So hopefully it's not too echoey in here. That's the only thing that I'll definitely have to adjust and fix. If it is, for sure. 30 seconds till we start. So set the water down. I'm gonna go over a couple exercises with you. So the first one is gonna be a high hurdle jump. All right, what we're gonna do on that is we'll do five to eight high knees. Then once you've got done with the high knees, you're going to cross to the other side of your yoga mat, okay? You just kind of follow along. Then we'll go into a burpee press. I'm not gonna talk about too much more from there. All right, you ready for this? So one minute on these exercises, 10 seconds to transition. Let's go. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump. All right, so this is the pace. I'm gonna let you count your own out on this. Good. But once you've got a few of those reps out with the high knees, you're leading the high knees up, try to jump across your yoga mat. If you're not to that point yet, I want you to literally step across your yoga mat, all right? We got 30 seconds left on this. I want you to keep moving, keep pacing yourself on it. Here we go, good. Back and forth, get five, six, seven, and jump across, good. 20 seconds and counting. Keep working, we're not gonna stop. We do have our 10 second transition coming up. Perfect, keep working, come on. Last 10 seconds. We've got a burpee press coming up next. You will be using your dumbbells for this next one. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so get your dumbbells. Good. All right, so this one, you're gonna go down to a push up. Do your push up if you want. Bring the dumbbells up. You're gonna squat and press with them, okay? That's the pace, here we go. So down, push up, optional. Back up, small squat, press overhead. Good, down, push up, back up. Perfect, small squat, press overhead. Excellent, I can tell I need to realign my camera. I apologize, I'm gonna step back. I know the dumbbells are going out of the frame. Okay, let's keep moving, good. Bring them up, small squat, press them overhead. Back down, good, push up, up, dumbbells up, squat, press overhead, come on, you got it, down, feet out, push up, back up, bring your dumbbells up, squat, press overhead, time for one more rep, down, push up, back up, press, overhead, relax, okay, so now, it's gonna be a squat, split squat, all right? Did these the other day, I love these. So, squat, okay, actually I told you wrong. So, squat, split, squat, split. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to actually figure out what the exercise is. Okay, so, split lunge, squatting down, split lunge, squatting down, split lunge, squatting down. Good, that's it, you got it, come on. Keep moving with it, one minute. We're not gonna stop. We do this workout in less than 10 minutes. Keep working though. 27 seconds. Good. I'm gonna look beforehand and see what the actual exercise is coming up next. So that way I don't mess it up. 17 seconds. Luckily we're doing a full minute today, so first few seconds, not a huge deal. Woo, eight seconds. Perfect, we got Renegade Rose next. Four, three, two, one, all right, grab your dumbbells. Ooh. Here we go. So now push up position, and if you can't do these yet, do a shoulder tap. So push up, and then row, push up, row. Switching side to side. So, get a good solid push up, whether you're straight body or on your knees. Pull that dumbbell up into your chest, your shoulder. Good. Here we go, keep it up, 38 seconds, come on, you can do this, here we go, that's it, don't stop, perfect, 27 seconds and counting, you're almost there, good, keep moving, we got this, oh, okay, okay, come on, keep working, it's a fast one today, so, it's going to be done before we even know it. Let's definitely push through. Even if we're pain, getting a little pain, that's good. A little bit of pain is good. Four seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Okay. The next one we're gonna do, over here. It's gonna be a four hop. So, let's show you. Okay, so jump to your left, jump forward, back to your right, jump back. I'm gonna try not to land on my phone, which is over here to the right. There it is. Back, good. Now, side, forward, side, back. Perfect. 
38 seconds. I'm gonna go back and forth so I don't have to worry about landing on my phone. But I want you to keep going forward and back with it. I'm gonna go side to side, touch the ground. Good. So if you got something in your way, modify it how you need to to make it work, okay? Good, there we go. 17 seconds. We're almost there. Whew. That's it. 10 seconds. We've got eight seconds to count. Almost there. Five more seconds. Come on. Two, one, relax. Okay. All right. So now, one dumbbell's needed only. 30 seconds to the right hand. Feet wide. Toes pointed out. Squat. Upright row. Squat. Upright row. Bring the dumbbell straight up the center of your body. Literally, I try to touch my hand, the back of my hand, my chin. That's how I know when I'm high enough. Good. Squat low, bring that dumbbell up. Low, dumbbell up. Good. Come on, we got it. 33, and switch hands, other side. So keep your pace, whether it's super fast, maybe it's super slow, keep your pace. Don't worry about anybody else, okay? Keep moving. If you want, you can add a calf raise to this. It changes the dynamic of the exercise a little bit, but you get those extra calf work in there too, which is nice. Good. Almost there, five more seconds. Let's see what we got. Excellent, and relax. Now the next one is a four point squat thrust, which is basically a burpee without the push up or the jump. So, go down, kick your feet out, bring your feet back in, stand up. Do that as fast as you can. Down, feet out, back up, chest out. Here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and add dumbbells for this. All right, you can do it body weight or with your dumbbells. If you do it with your dumbbells, don't slam them on your knees when you come up. Woo, there we go. Good, that's it. Keep working. Keep moving, 30 seconds left. Let's see if we can get at least eight more of these. I definitely think that's doable. Totally, 100%. Come on, keep pushing with it. Here we go, don't stop, not even for a moment. Keep on moving, 10 seconds or so. That's it, good, about eight seconds. Work with it, seven more, good. You got five seconds, down. Keep those feet out one more time, back up. And good. All right, next one is a lunge curl. So you're gonna lunge forward. When you're in the down position, you curl. I'm gonna start my right leg going forward. Once you drop down, curl. Right back up. I'm gonna do 30 seconds only on my right leg, and then 30 seconds on my left. Instead of alternating, okay? You gotta get a few more reps that way. And you take the alternation out. Good. Whoo, these are heavy. That's it. Perfect. Keep moving. I'm definitely sweating. I don't know if you can see me glistening, but I am definitely glistening. All right, other leg, here we go. Definitely watch the time on the screen, because you know how I get it. I'll get to talking and forget to look at the time. So, always pay attention on your side as well, okay? Good. Keep moving. 10 seconds. Excellent. Here we go. We got five seconds. Almost there. Three more. Hand. Last. Okay, now we're going into a plank. Front plank on your forearm. For five seconds. Three, two, one. Ooh, I'm sweating. It's flabby. Okay, so on this one, head up. Keep your butt down. I love it when I go back and look at these videos when I do them, because I'm saying what to do, but I don't always get it right either. So, perfect form would be head up high. Okay, shoulders directly over your elbows. There you go, core tight, butt down, legs, thighs, knees straight. Okay, but when you start to get tired, it looks more like this. All right, try not to do that though. If I get in the habit of doing that, I'll do a movement with it where I'll turn it into a rep count. Like drop your butt up, back down. Now that is called a reverse reverse crunch and it's great for the abs. 
Okay, let's do it for the last few seconds together. All right, so up, hold it down for a few seconds, back up. Down for a few seconds, back up. Down for a few seconds, back up. Great exercise right here. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Up to your feet. Now this is our last exercise. We're doing a 21 with a surprise at the end. So for 21, you're gonna do seven belly button curls. Here we go, so seven of them, bringing it up to your belly button. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now stay above your belly button from chin to belly button. One, two, three, four, five, six, one more, seven. Now full range. One, two, three, four. Fully straighten those arms. Five, six, now swing in the body. Seven, now hold it right at your belly button. Right here, hold the weight out. You're probably wondering why I only have one dumbbell. This is the reason. So hold it out, good, keep it there. We're gonna lock it out until it burns. We're going off of my time. I've got a 20 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna hold it here. I want you to keep holding it. Don't worry about the time left on the clock. Keep holding it, even after. All right, arms straight, no bending back. If you start leaning back and curling up, you're done, that's it. See if you can hold it with me. See if you can hold it with me. Drop it down to one dumbbell if you need to. Now I want you to extend your arms out a little ways from the body so the elbows aren't tucked in anymore. We're gonna hold it, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, count it down with me. Eight, seven, six, five, dumbbell up. Three, two, one, and relax, Fit Body Nation. We made it another day down. Super proud of you guys. I know these workouts are extremely tough at times, but you're pushing through, whether it be a long workout, short workout, or a challenge workout. So please subscribe, share this video, and make sure you're back here tomorrow, because you know our Friday workouts, if you're new to this channel, are intense. They're the hardest workouts of the week. That's how we like to wrap the week up with the Fit Body Nation. All right, see you back here tomorrow.